Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Sick, huh? Good evening, fellow savages. <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> oh. Changing it up. That beat's sick. We've been, dude, I've been compiling a bunch of freaking Joel's uh, bits and pieces of MP3s. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those are freaking killer. That shit. And we're making stacking a whole library of those together a just of joel <laughs> he should come out with his own uh soundboard <laughs> yeah his own yeah. soundboard dude it's crazy like freaking um there's a i don't know if i said it before there's an app for that damn daniel oh really yeah you could play all the damn daniel freaking uh clips and stuff like that every like everything he's ever said that's funny i didn't yeah. know that i was like holy shit man that's pretty cool. People take the time to develop an app like that. You know what's fucked up about that? What? The guy that does the funny voice, uh -huh. he got like almost no recognition. And only Daniel got the recognition. Oh, really? Yeah. And Damn. the whole funny thing was the guy, like the Daniel guy. Yeah, He yeah. got like free vans for however long. What? Yeah. He was getting hooked up and stuff Yeah. Too? And they gave like the guy that does the actual voice, like, I forget what. But Damn, it was, like, Daniel. Yeah, like the whole fucking joke. Yeah, yeah. Barely got any hookup. Like, the guy went on Ellen and everything. What? Yeah. I was not aware of this. Yeah. He was on Ellen? Yeah, but not the other guy. Dude, that's the thing, man. If you make it online, you're going on the Ellen show for sure. Like, that's your first stop. Like, have you seen that young uh, Jamaican trainer? Yeah. Like, that kid's been on Ellen like three times already. That's crazy. He has no weakness. He's strong as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does he say? Yeah, that's what he says, huh? strength no weakness strength no weakness i'm not gonna lie dude when i watch him freaking talk i'm like dude i'm about to fuck everything dude, up when today. i hear him talk i'm like i get all dude I'm, I'm being a bitch yeah like, I need dude he's like <laughs> he has like start i don't know where he i don't know where he learned this from obviously he had to learn it from somewhere maybe his dad's like really motivated I mean, his daddy, yeah. or something because this kid's on fire man like dude he, he just, has some motivation yeah dude he's like training like he's what eight maybe yeah He's like training like 14 year old kids. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's a big ass difference when you're at that age, you know? But you know what? Like growing up, it, I don't know. I was probably, there's probably, I'm trying to think, like even Troy actually, little Troy when we were growing up. Yeah. He had this like attitude that I would actually, he would just take Admire. charge. Of, yeah, yeah. Because he didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He was fearless. It's just like this kid. He's fearless. Like, mm -hmm. so it, those are leadership skills right there. Do yeah. you think you could develop those, or is that just born? I mean, obviously, he's like... Dude, you're mostly born with it. Mm -hmm. You can develop some of it, but I th I think you're, the seed has to be in you. Yeah. Right? And you have to water it to for it to develop. I but think it's so. But it's not going to just like... You have, to, you have to nurture it. You right. Have to, if you don't use it. Exactly. And honestly, I think that's with everything. Yeah. Like, there's some people that are never going to be an NBA player. That's yeah. just the way it is. That's how you were wired, you know? Yeah. But there's people that are really good. They have the reflexes, the skills, and stuff like that. But if they don't want to put in the work, then they're mm -hmm. not going to do it either. Right. So. Yep. That's just, that's, that's the, uh, that's how the world works. It is what it is. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I hope everyone has enjoyed the past two months of life yeah. on this earth, right? Yeah. Like we're all talking like it's just on this earth. Hope it, hopefully everyone's doing good on Mars. I hope so. And uh, the aliens that live on the moon, hopefully they're doing good too. Hopefully. <laughs> As I was reading some more stuff about like the debate of whether we went to the moon or not. Oh my I God. Didn't, I didn't remember that freaking movie. What was that movie called where like they go to the moon and then, and then the like aliens freaking kill the dudes? Apollo something. <sighs> yeah, dude, that movie freaked me out, man. That shit was tight. That shit's real. This shit <laughs> could be real. I don't know. I don't it's know. fucking. It's weird though how we haven't gone back though. Yeah, they say it would be too expensive, but I think they're lying. Who knows? You know, I, I mean, what, they, what if there is extraterrestrial shit and they're like, "Yo, 
They're scared as fuck. Just get the fuck out of here or else we're going to fuck up your world. And they said, (laughs) hold on, hold on. We're going to leave in a couple decades. We're going to go to Mars. Can we fuck with that one? And he said, I don't give a fuck about Mars. All right. He's like, yeah, if I don't fuck Mars, we left that place a long time ago. It's a shithole. <laughs> you deal with it. It's a goddamn Sahara Desert over there. There's no fucking water anymore. Yeah. Probably. I think that Mars was definitely Earth at some point back then. Dude, what if Venus, Earth, and Mars were all the same? I think they were. There's a good chance they were all similar in some ways, in lots of ways. It's like, you know how we live like in our, like, the we could have survived at these temperatures in this ambience. Mm-hmm. What if Venus has their own for certain temperatures because obviously it's hot as fuck because it's closer right yep yep so then there's their own species that live off that and so on you know i think you never fucking know right you never know dude if you judging me fuck it then whatever i mean they were killing people because they thought that the earth was flat you know yeah but bob still fucking thinks the earth's flat no nah, the only thing flat is his mama's dude, ass dude you i gotta look it up but some football player believes in fucking mermaids and doesn't believe in dinosaurs he believes in mermaids. Yeah. But not in dinosaurs. Yeah, and his head coach, this is in fucking NFL or college. It's one or the other, but I was listening, like, his coach was even saying, like, fucking putting this motherfucker on blast because it was, like, so fucking goddamn ridiculous. He was like, dude, he doesn't believe, he believes, he, he was excited about moving to Florida. It's a Florida team now that I think about it because he was excited to move to Florida because he'd be closer to the mermaids. What the fuck? Yeah, but he, then you he, they showed him like talking. He's like, I don't know if you all want to be ignorant and believe, you know, and like it's just hard for me to believe that Tyrannosaurus Rex was like walking among us and stuff. But and, a mermaid. And then I was like, well, first off, he wasn't walking among us, but okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it's crazy. And he's like, he's like, you know, it, dinosaurs is just like the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, all all the yeah. shit that doesn't make sense, uh, doesn't exist. No. It's the, uh, yeah, <laughs> they do exist. <laughs> <laughs> you dead bitch. Yeah. <laughs> how how do you think you're here? It's because Santa Claus visited yeah. your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucked. <laughs> but no. So hopefully everyone enjoy has been doing good and whatnot. Right. How how and then you've been busy as heck with school and all that. So I have. I uh, had summer camp with Jora Pyle. Yeah, yeah, you have a month of that. Yeah, I yeah. had summer camp. <laughs> that was cool. A good thirty days. Yeah, of sweating. Didn't you say like so, dude? I got so used to sleeping in the yeah, heat. Yeah, the heat. So huh? used, I couldn't sleep for like the first. Actually, I take that back. I did sleep because I was so tired, and I did eventually fall asleep. But anyway, I got so used to sleeping in the heat that when I would get uh, released for work release, you uh-huh. know, I would go to the apartment and it'd be like eighty five fucking degrees. And I'd be like, why the fuck is it so cold in here? <laughs> and I would literally have goosebumps and shit. <laughs> That's crazy. It probably what, only took like two weeks for your body to get fuck used no. to it. Like four days. Four days? Yeah. Damn. That's freaking gnarly. Because my, where my bunk was at, the the sun, when I was coming down from like four, three or four o'clock all the way. No, no, no. From two to o'clock. Two to three o'clock all the way to like 6.30. Uh-huh. It was just beating on it. So I couldn't <laughs> even lay in it. And sometimes I would lay in it. So I'd just be laying there. For like whatever, 110 degrees, 115 degrees mm-hmm. for like an hour or whatever. Go go in the shower room, rinse off, come back out. Do it all over again. You know? Freaking gnarly. Oh. <laughs> but dude, yeah, that's that's an experience for sure. Even just driving through that whole area, it's just fucking weird because you just see Joel Paro's name everywhere. It's like, weird. Like a god. Yeah. Like he is the god. When when I <laughs> when I visit when I visited uh when I first came to the bunks, you know, uh-huh. everyone was all staring at me, and I'm all, I'm all. Hi, I'm Joel. <laughs> <laughs> you doing with Joel? <laughs> yeah, I was like, nice to meet you, bitches. <laughs> dude, Joel kills me, dude, with yeah. those freaking impersonations. It was exactly like that, though. <laughs> Holy shit! No, nah, but that's how, you, uh, that's how you get jumped right there. <laughs> yeah. If you do, Joel. Joel wouldn't get jumped though. Not at no, no, not not there, not there. No, no. But I got a lot of stories. But I feel like I could do like a whole session just on those stories. But. Yeah, I just remember seeing a big ass banner that like huge ass banner that says Joel Arpaio in big you know big letters, and then underneath says uh, proudly served served over a half a million yep. inmates. I was like, that's that's not uh, uh, 
that's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's not a, like the award or like achievement. That's yeah, a exactly. fucking, that's a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, okay. And what bitch? Holy shit. But, but he's, he's in some deep shit now. He's fucking dealing with karma, lot. dude. Yeah. A lot of freaking, um, a lot of lawsuits and stuff like that right now. It just fucking amazes me how people are like, he's doing a great job. What are you talking about? I said, <laughs> wow, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. But, uh, I don't know if Howard Stern is doing it still, uh-huh. but someone needs to jack the, uh, oh, the tower. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's, there's a vacancy, uh, neon light uh, in the tower in the middle of all the jails. Mm-hmm. And if you could jack that, I don't know if he's still doing it, but he'll give you $1 million if you could jack it and give it to him. I'm pretty sure that's what Or he's any property that you get from Maricopa County jails. He's down. You, he'll take know, it. Well, people in general will buy it because it's worth however much money. I forget, but is that crazy? Just because yeah. of how the jail is here, dude. When I was when they were processing me out, even your name tag bracelet, they take. Like you can't even keep that. <laughs> what? It's it's almost like nothing happened. That's so freaking weird, yeah. dude. Give me a souvenir at least. Yeah. Right. Like a fucking medal. I can't. I can't take. The I was able peel. to. <laughs> I was able to deal with your bitch ass for thirty <laughs> days. You know. <laughs> holy shit i survived off the fucking peanut butter diet yeah so you ready for some news hit me with it all right so as we all know the iphone 7 is here it does not look any fucking different so calm (laughs) calm your shit down all right but there's some big ass changes for sure some this like some people will hate it and some people would maybe just not care the biggest change is so usb-c is like the the what we use to charge right so that's that connection is becoming more and more popular because it's like very universal right so that what they did is they got rid of the actual phone uh headphone jack the three, oh, okay. three and a half millimeter phone head uh jack removed it put a fucking big ass speaker there so now the phone's even louder uh-huh. and uh it comes and the cool thing about apple though is that they f- didn't leave everyone hanging they uh include basically an adapter that goes into USB uh, C and uh, adapts to a, a headphone jack. Okay. So you can still use your headphones and stuff like that if you if you want the cord. But fuck, I use those things so much that it's become a pain in the ass. Yeah. And uh, the, what comes with the phone is Air, AirPods. So it's Bluetooth headphones. Oh, okay. Just cordless and stuff. The only thing that I don't know is if uh, you can speak into it like like uh, take so calls if, and all that right because that thing's all but you know what dude i have some other headphones that are kind of like they look like beats but they're not but mm-hmm. they have their bluetooth and i can take calls with them and yeah. that speaker's nowhere near my mouth i don't know how but people i i, I ask everyone too i'm like hey does it sound like i'm talking like it's on speaker and they're like no i can hear you fine i'm like dude, that's fucking crazy like the microphone's by my ear not even close to my mouth huh so i'm hoping it's gonna be like that the whole thing's water resistant. You can drop this bitch in water and be cool. Fucking fine. You can drop this in beer go and be cool. S- go swimming in it. You could do what I did and drop it in the toilet after taking a shit and it'll still be cool. And you know what? You know what? My I phone did? right now, I did that and it's still cool. Don't worry. I, it was There wasn't shit in the tub, but it was I after mean, the flush. It would have been nice to be water resistant when I got drunk and jumped in the pool. Oh my God. You did that once? I, I'm glad they're I'm glad they're looking out for me now. Yeah, you know? fuck. They yeah. came through. Did you hear about the Galaxy Seven though? No, How, I don't pay attention to Androids. Dude, <laughs> I heard that they blow up. Oh, what? Oh, you know and what? I did even hear my, even like my that. fiber optics teacher, he's like, dude, uh, in it you can only charge it. They, it says you can only charge it up to sixty percent, and then it's safe at that range. Anything above that, there's a potential for it to blow up. What? And then I also heard that there was only like an X amount that was dispersed or uh-huh. sold, but the rest of them are fine. So it's just like random booby traps anywhere, Dude, you know? <laughs> that's freaking... So you're going to beep, beep, it's done. That's just like little mines in <laughs> yeah, the fields, <field>, Exactly. <laughs> so That's gnarly. Yeah. So the the iPhone, well, the iPhone 7 Plus, or the, the Plus version, right? It has two cameras. This one, like, if you, like I have the regular size one. The size larger than that has two cameras. And I think one is a telephoto lens, but I can't remember. So that's pretty freaking crazy. Yeah. But um, the processor is faster. And uh, what else? The battery is going to last longer, too. What, like a week? Probably a couple <laughs> more hours. Or more, 
or yeah exactly so so apple's re- main reason though for changing that that headphone jack because a lot of people are like definitely like oh my god like, like ninth and i've seen so many freaking articles on linkedin as well like people bitching yeah even like the in the professional market saying like oh dude they fucked up and blah 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 but i was like you know what dude apple risks risks shit for the like for a good reason like yeah. they innovate shit but it's like it's crazy like it's always a risk because at the end of the day the market's controlled by consumers right but it's like they understand it so well that they know that consumer is going to accept it and learn and then move forward with the trend and they adapt that, to the situation yeah dude and that's that's the what part, part one <laughs> part like, i see i'm like fuck they're dude, like gnarly. you know what we're gonna do whatever we want <laughs> and you will like it and you're still gonna pay fucking extra dude bitch. R- real talk though like being in in engineering school and mm-hmm. all that all the like the labs that we had to do that, or had to do for like circuits and shit uh-huh. i don't really bitch about anything anymore because i'm like dude there's so much shit that goes in here that some dumb bimbo is gonna be like my fucking phone isn't working i'm like you know bitch <laughs> you know how much shit goes in, uh, thought process goes into that fucking phone you should be thankful it even just turns on right? isn't that crazy yeah. that's why i like now going through all that i'm like you know what? it's all fucked up and i was like you know what? i don't even care yeah there's so much shit no i feel you because there's been times that i bitch about my like some like something like elect- anything uh, electronic i'm like you piece of shit yeah like and oh my god just, it's delayed <laughs> but if you really think about it you're like dude there's so much shit going on in this thing right now yeah, that's exactly. fucking crazy like all right I'll, I'll i'll shut the fuck up yeah i'll let you download <laughs> that fucking program or i'll let you transfer those files yeah like exactly. that's freaking weird like i'm like fucking bits and zeros and ones and shit and i'm here bitching about it <laughs> Yeah, that's freaking crazy, man. So, all right. Next in the news, this is uh, definitely controversial, but um, and I didn't I haven't even heard of any of m- many of these situ- situations happening lately, but I guess they're still happening. Uh, Tyree King, a 13 year old that was shot by police within two seconds of contact in Columbus, Ohio. This happened on the 15th, so it's literally yesterday. Yeah. Officers mistaken a BB gun for a real gun and shot Tyrone Keene several times. At the press conference, Kim Jacobs, Columbus police chief, showed a picture of a replica of the gun, saying that the BB gun had a laser underneath the barrel and th- and that the overall appearance of the BB gun looks very similar to guns that police officers carry. So this was I watched that video and I was like, I don't trust you at all, Kim, mm. <laughs> because. She clearly even said this. She like she holds up a paper that has a picture of the gun, right? Yeah. And says, "This is what the BB gun looked like, but this is a replica of what it looked like. It's not a picture of the BB gun." And I was like, "So okay. that means so that you, you can fuck with it." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Then why the fuck are we looking at that?" That's completely <laughs> pointless. Then. I was like, "Why don't you just take a picture with your fucking iPhone of, yeah. and, and print that bitch out?" And, and blow it up, and, and we and blow it. see it. <laughs> yeah, so we can see that, it, see what this BB gun looked like, dude. The whole crowd, huh? Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I question fucking everything. everything. Yeah, and everyone should, because that's how people get away with shit. So dude. like, who knows? Who knows exactly like what's going on with that or or whatnot? But that's my first hunch. It's just that that's fucking suspicious. Yeah. So, uh, so what happened was this officers, officers came in contact with the boy because he was wanted for questioning of a Wednesday night armed robbery. Take it. This kid's 13 years old. Right. Where is this at though? Columbus, Ohio. Okay. In a statement, officers followed the males to the alley and attempted to take them into custody. When one suspect pulled a gun from his waistband, police added one officer shot and struck the suspect multiple times. King was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at 8.22 p.m. No one else was injured. The other male suspect was interviewed and later released pending further inquiries. That's fucked. So this whole thing just seems like for no reason. Basically. Area area resident Chris Nader told the Columbus dispatch he heard a gate in his backyard get knocked down and then saw police chasing two young men in an alley outside his home. Heard gunshots five, ten seconds afterwards. Uh, he let NBC know. As with all police involved shootings, uh, the officers w- will receive mandated psychological 
support counseling and be given the opportunity to take leave time to assist in recovery from a traumatic experience. The officer who fired the shots was later identified as Brian Mason, a nine year old, a nine year veteran of the force who just recently transferred to the zone where the incident happened. He was being placed on a yeah, he was being pa- placed on administrative leave for about a week. So fuck, that whole, it's just like, this is the bummer, dude. It's like, fuck. Like, it's just another uh, but quick reaction thing. Yeah, man. Gone bad. And then like, I, I there's, you know, I guess there, like, there has been more of an argument of like how quick people or officers are to shoot a black male compared to a white male. But then you just saw it, saw it like not even well before we took this break two months ago a white male was shot mm. for not for not wanting to show what was in his pocket which was nothing but yeah so it's like it's just all over the place I don't think you can really put your finger on one thing I think it's just tense situations and yeah. you know that dude that officer was just placed in that area recently mm. and. He just, I was like, dude, he's fucking, I just don't see the, let them fucking run. <laughs> like, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't see the reason why to kill a 13 year old. He didn't rob no one. He's 13. Like it, there's 13 year olds kid that could pull some shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. But fuck. Like if you're uh, in, the, I, I, it's just, it's just weird. Like when you're in Compton, fuck, like. They're not gonna do stuff for like that, like they're gonna petty shit. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't seem like they had enough um f- for petty. Like this is the thing, when I was when I was sitting in jail, there was a guy, black dude, probably he was twenty three years old. He was wearing all white, mm. and he uh, lived in Surprise, Arizona. He was minding his own business, going up to a vending machine at a store or at a like a like like it's just a, mo- a plaza area like right. a bunch of stores but it's already kind of late it's like 11 p.m right yeah and he's gonna fucking stick out he's wearing all white and he's a black dude like yeah. cops will fucking see that easily mm. so um supposedly the the cops come up to him with with guns drawn out of nowhere what the right fuck? off the bat and uh saying and they're like and then so he he surrenders he's like dude i don't know what the fuck is going on and uh they run him and he ended up having uh, a, a past warrant from when he was like seven like 17 or 18 years old of something like crazy petty like oh my not, god and not to mention like literally that was a story with 80 percent of the people that i sat with yeah same in here. those cells it was they were in there for child support or petty shit petty ass shit like fucking like ridiculously like yeah. stupid shit so um, the only reason why, uh, the, the cops say, oh, well, the only reason why we hit you up was because we were getting reports of someone, uh, like going around to like stores and kind of trying to break in, which I was like, you know what, dude, you, those fucking cops could have completely they lied could, They could for they, that being the reason. Yeah. Like, they, who am I dealing with? Oh, I'm gonna say, oh, we got a, a call saying that you fit the blah, blah, blah. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. That's exactly fucking... so it, that's why it's just like a bummer dude i'm just like dude that's fucking sucks like yeah. to be in a position like that like that fucking sucks you know like with this whole police situation like you know when you're in class and the teacher fucking hates you yeah because you were fucking up right and then you start to be good but any little thing she's just gonna blame you right or he or she and you're trying to do good, but it's you're already in too deep that you you created an image in their head to assume that it was you, right? That's how the system. That's is. how it is with cops, and people are like, "Yeah, but they're doing good now, or some shit, right?" And yeah, it's like, yeah, but you're already fucked up, you know. Yeah. Now you have to completely redesign everything, you know. Oh yeah, it's it yeah. Like exactly. there's no working through it. You just have to clean house. Yeah. I got a follow up story on that. I don't know all the details on it, but um. There's a, a dude, I don't know, I, I don't have it on me, but he was suicidal. The sister or his girlfriend called in saying, hey, can an officer come down here and help me out because I think he's suicidal, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. He's not going to hurt anybody. I just don't want him to hurt himself. So this one of the cops comes up and uh, 
he's dealing with the guy. He was a black man as well. And he's, uh, he's freaking out. And the guy's like, just fucking shoot me, man. Just fucking shoot me. And the cop's like, dude, I'm not going to shoot you. Like, even though the guy has a gun, the, the, the suicidal guy has a gun and uh-huh. he's like waving it and everything. The cop was like, dude, I'm not going to shoot you. Mm-hmm. Like calling him the fuck down. He's like a military veteran, all this stuff. Like he's got training and everything. Uh huh. Two other cops show up to help him out. They fucking, they run up to in this situation and just blast the guy. You got to be fucking kidding they me. Kill. That's not the bad part. The bad part is they suspend the guy that was doing the first officer. They suspend him and they actually end up firing him. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. They fired him because he didn't shoot uh, because it was a. Uh, considered like a risk to for the guy to be waving the gun like that and he should have shot him right then and there fuck so he crazy. got fired for not shooting him that's fucking crazy yeah so that that even exposes a little bit even more of yeah like exactly where all that shit stems how their from. training is being implemented you know that's crazy dude so there's like a whole petition going like get his fucking job back this and that you know yeah but that that's that that is, if that's not clear enough i don't know what it that's is that's disgusting know? dude yeah. that's fucking so that's disgusting i mean i saw that story on facebook and then i started reading into it like, some more but i know i don't know all the details but if yeah. you guys want to go check it out no i i heard it so actually i think i was talking to donnie about that earlier today yeah. i think he brought it up i was like fuck man yeah because he's he's black but i didn't even really even tell because he's like white black like light, light. I, th- I think he might be Blasian. Yeah. yeah, but he was because we were joking around about some like racist jokes that they do on Sunday in Philadelphia or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, dude, like that's fucking disgusting, dude. That's yeah. crazy. So it just exposes a little bit more of where that shit stems from. Yeah. But, so even good cops out there are being punished <laughs> for wanting to do good. Yeah. yeah. So we're fucked. <laughs> That sucks, man. I follow. I forgot the guy's name. That he's a like, like he, it's legit now. He's uh, validated on Instagram. <laughs> but that cop that um, play, he just throws up like nothing but videos all day of him like with the community and stuff. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, he. Who knows? No. Yeah. That's why I like. Even I'm not even gonna lie, dude. I was at Paleology right now getting dinner, and three cops are next to me. Yeah, and I was just like, I don't, I can't even fucking look at them, dude. Yeah, I was just like, I'm not fucking making no goddamn eye contact, dude. Them. I feel like, I didn't, it sounds, I didn't, it sounds it, fucked up, but I feel like, like almost if I was like a Jewish man in the, in the Nazi, <laughs> right? Like it's that tense. I feel. Yeah. Like I don't even want to look at you because I feel like you could spark up a conversation, and if I say anything, you're gonna assume whatever the fuck you want yeah next thing i know i'm on channel five or whatever you know mm-hmm. so i was just like i'm I sorry the dude. fucking way I, I was like sorry dude i just had to deal with you motherfuckers like over yeah. the past three fucking months so just give me a, a break for now yeah. <laughs> just, just fuck off for another i'll, I'll come around now. later <laughs> yeah but I'll come on you later <laughs> <laughs> so moving on uh we got a story about nick i can't say this last name puhichi a guy that was born without arms and legs, like literally he has no arms and legs, but he was just born this way. Despite those missing limbs, he was still he still figured out a way to swim, surf, oh s- yeah, skydive. Well, that's easier for sure. <laughs> and travel the world to speak to thousands of people, uh, giving motivational speeches. Saw that shit, yeah. Yeah, so it was pretty cool because I mean, he can walk. You just walk on little nubs, right? But he fucking yeah. walks. Man. He walks. So then instantly I started thinking, I was like, I know he has to get laid. He does. He for sure gets laid. And if anything, I would think that some women probably want to give him a, the experience of getting laid. I got a quick question. Okay. I don't know what they're called. Midgets, little people, what? Dwarfs. I mean, dwarfs. there's- No, dwarfs there's, is like a that, medium that's size. That's a different size. Oh, okay. I'm talking about like a sh- like wee man. That's a dwarf, right? Or yeah, well, that's a dwarf. Well, Eric the actor, he was a midget. So you know how they had like fat forms and fat casts, right? Does that mean they got fat dicks? They and, could. And girls want to fuck them more because they know. Because they have girth. Yeah. That's a possibility. I don't know. Am I gay? No. But that's a that'd be I a didn't quick so. that'd be a good question. You should go ask one. <laughs> <laughs> so. He is the president of two companies and employs roughly a dozen people. 
His main advice is don't be afraid to work, don't be afraid to try, don't be afraid to network, and don't be shy. Which I was like, you know what? That's that's uh, being shy fucking restricts you from doing a lot of shit in life. Yeah, it does. Like big time, man. That's why. I mean, either like it's okay to be shy. Like everyone has their own thing, right? Like introvert and stuff. Yeah. But fuck, man. Like you're only giving one life. Yeah, and you're just wasting you know? time. Like go like. Everybody always says like, "Fuck, I should have done this earlier." Yeah, you're right. Yeah, exactly. So you know, when I think of that thing, I'm like, I'm just gonna do it right now. Exactly. Fuck it. You don't want to feel like that, man. And honestly, that's why I I keep, I literally sometimes just think like, dude, if I literally only had this week left of life, yeah, what would I do? And it's crazy when you start thinking like that, your actions change big time. Yeah, like you start, you make time to even like like make sure you talk to certain people and stuff like that to like, like I'll check up with Brandon or whatever with the homies and stuff like that. Because fuck, if you die, you're, you know, you're yeah. gone. Like don't be shy. Don't be shy. Be like, be like Julie. Hi, I'm Joel. <laughs> 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 Fucking Joel, dude. That clip freaking kills me, dude. Gosh damn well, That's funny Dude he can like Change like character So quickly Like literally He'll he, go from like A happy moment To just beating the shit Out of like, play, like Do that one again Hi I'm Joey <laughs> Until perverted Mexican <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit Fucking Joel I know I'm stacking more Into that library Alright And ending With news Is this, this is pretty cool. There's a, uh, a paintball company in East Dundee, Illinois that has a, an arena, one that's called, uh, sorry, Nuketown. Oh, dude, that's dude, my favorite one in Call fuck. of Duty. So everyone who has played Call of Duty, that's like definitely that's the, the fucking, shit. that's the shit. That's yeah. one of the most popular maps that's on there. where that. you get them high kills at. I fucking suck at all video games and I still enjoy playing that, yeah. that map. So they have a real life version of it. Damn. The fucking the house. The, Where's that at? The uh, car, the uh, the school bus, all that, and it's in uh, East Dundee, Illinois. It, it it has everything. It is fucking badass. But yeah, so like, that's such a good idea. That'd for be a marketing sick too. course. Yeah, that's badass. Well, the cool, yeah, dude, it, you can't get better than that. Yeah, I think I was like, dude, that's freaking epic right there. Paintball in general is fun as fuck. Dude, last time we went. Oh man, like I forgot, and then we, when we were doing it, I was like, "Dude, you could get like you could get some serious aggression out." Dude, you know? I, yeah, I was gonna, not gonna lie, dude. Like I'm gonna start feeling like it was real shit. Like that's war. Yeah, I like, mean, obviously I've never been. Like war, you start freaking running and yeah. like like I honestly felt like the paintballs were like bullets. Yeah, like I was gonna die. Exactly. Yeah, and you you freaking move like you're gonna die. Yeah, like you get tense. Like I was like, dude, my, I've never had this tension before. Yeah, I didn't know I was agile like this. Like a fuck yeah. Yeah, dude, that like shit a fucking was monkey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was freaking fun. I was like, I wanna do that. Hell yeah. Yeah. But they should lower the fucking price. I know. It, it can get pricey for sure. It's not even that expensive. You're just a broke ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Th that too. Dude, like there's a couple of things I'm trying to I wanna freaking get into because I I would love to get back into that, but then also um Last two weekends ago, I went up to Sedona with Austin White and his buddies and uh, went um, mountain biking out on the trails out in Sedona. That's sick. And that shit was freaking... We did we did um, the whole 12, mile, 12 miles and 2,000 uh, feet of elevation we climbed. And it was all around the whole uh, cathedral. I don't know if it's peak or mountain or whatever the hell it's called. But, dude, that shit was freaking tight, man. And there's slabs of freaking rock, like huge, like just slabs on the side of the mountain of rock where the trail goes. And mm -hmm. the trail is like mapped with just a white chalk line or like a white paint line. I mean, really? Yeah. Like some parts like that. Then it goes into trails. Like we took Highline. Highline is one of the gnarliest trails out there, I guess, supposedly. And even when I went to go pick up my bike at the rental store, the, uh, there's one guy there. He's like, um, he's like, hold on. This is your first time. I'm like, well, yeah. And then Austin's like, don't worry, dude. He's he's raced dirt bikes before. Like he that's all he did. Like yeah. it'll be fine. And he's like, 
yeah, but there's not dirt bikes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, whatever, bitch. I'm gonna come back. And so when I came back to turn to turn on my bike, his other like the other guy that was working there, the the guy that talked shit a little bit was quiet, and the other dude um, was like, how was it, man, and stuff like that. I was like, dude, it was good, man. We did Highline, freaking knocked it all out, less than two hours, like yeah. for a beginner, like for me, like just doing it for the first time, and. Um, and he's like, damn, all right. Well, high, damn, high. dude, Highline is fucking crazy. People can die off that shit. <laughs> People, like, literally, you're going, there's there's one part of the trail that goes on for a while, and you're on the side of the mountain, and there's a, like a 10, like, like there's like a thousand foot drop right next to you, right how, next how, to you, how, and how, the trail what? is like a, a foot and a half wide. No. Yeah. Damn. That's fucking crazy. I, I got off at some of those part, parts and just walked because I was like, I'm not fucking dying because. Previous to that section, I started getting comfortable and getting my momentum and like you, like all my instinct from like BMX shit when I was a kid came yeah. back. And uh, and then like I mean literally you're going up rock like you're going up, it's like imagine Squaw Peak. Squaw Peak is a uh, a mountain here in Arizona that or in Phoenix that's pretty much like all stairs of rock. Yeah. Just imagine trying to go up that with a, a bike in some cases. Like okay. there's some people that can do that. It's almost like trial bikes yeah. where he's just hopping all the way up. Damn. Just staying, just keeping your balance and stuff. It was freaking gnarly, man. And people, you can definitely. So how, how long was that section? The thousand foot drop section? Mm, at least 2000 feet. I'd say a trail. Like a quarter mile? Then? No, not that much. Oh, well, let's see here. Well, a mile is only no 5, probably, probably like probably like probably like probably like a like a, a thousand a little over a thousand feet then. So trail. you walked that shit. Yeah, but Austin, most them, of them they just rode it out. They just fucking rode that like shit. nothing. Yeah, Austin's bike's for crazy though. That's a ten thousand dollar bike. He's rolling on. Yeah, the 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 the, uh, the rims alone were the cost of the bike that I rented out, which was like a five or six thousand dollar bike. How fucking how? Because that's all carbon fiber. Yeah, but that's just, dude. Those bikes are fucking crazy. Those bikes are crazy. the The gears and everything are freaking like perfect. Like, dude, it's freaking nuts. And 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 like all, like, it was so much freaking fun, dude. Because you're like, and then you can lock the suspension, like the f the forks and the spring and stuff. So like when you're going downhill, you're gonna loosen them so that you know. But then when you're going uphill, you lock that shit. Yeah. So that there's no give, and mm -hmm. you just. And then you put the seat up and you sit down and you just start fucking cranking away. And you don't want to go too fast because then you just start slipping. Mm. So like you're just you like, to grip. you're using all this technique to like keep the bottom like and like grabbing traction and you're just freaking pushing through that shit, dude. That torque. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, like three quarters in of the end of the whole trip, I ran out of water from my camel back and my whole like squads were cramping up like i couldn't like i just had to walk while cramping damn it was like that and then dude the the, the last stretch of the whole trail is like one of the funnest parts because you're going through like these freaking like 15 foot deep washes mm -hmm. back and forth and so literally it's like you're doing like you're going left right left right but like on off hips and stuff damn so it's like sick. you're like take a left and you hit a berm and then you come up and then there's like a hip and you like maybe get, catch a little fucking air uh, like that. Throw a little and then you come back down, you take a right and on a berm and stuff like that. Get all that momentum. Then you climb up for another hip and it just keeps doing that. Dude, that shit was So fun. you just pump it? Yeah. Yeah. And those bikes, dude, that's the other thing too. Those bikes, those bearings and everything are so freaking perfect that you get momentum even without like having to pedal much. Damn. So, dude, that was freaking sick. And you, then like all your dirt bike and stuff instinct kicks in like elbows up lean back just bend your legs like use that shit suspension and everything's just dude it's so freaking sick dude i don't know what i would do if i saw that trail a little dude i like it's worth it it's one of the best workouts i feel man. like if you look down it's gonna like pull you yeah well it gets addicting like it, it, at some points it got to like since my eyes aren't used to the speed uh, like i used to i would like some parts would go too fast for me. Mm. And so like my eyes wouldn't process the information quick enough. Oh really? Like, yeah, it was like that sometimes. That makes sense. But it was so freaking cool. And then like the dirt was still kind of wet in some, lots of areas out there. Cause they had from all the flash floods and stuff. Yeah. So the berms and stuff like that were like freaking packed perfectly. 
So that was freaking Damn. sick, man. That's badass. Yeah. Then there's a part of the trail where I don't know where like Slide Rock is, but I don't know. This there's like a creek and people swimming in it. And Fossil Creek. Yeah, maybe that. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. But it was cool. There's people swimming there, and that was actually probably one of the worst parts of the trail because it's like the creek. But then to leave that section is like a staircase of rock of uh of just like climbing a trail with a bunch of peaked up rocks. Damn. And you're just going. Huh. It is freaking crazy, man. I want to go back. That ass workout, though, huh? Dude, that and then like just, just everything. Like your quads, Shoulders. your quads <laughs> mainly. Yeah, yeah, but your quads and then your forearms and your hands. I'm holding on. Because yeah, you're just holding Not on. Eating shit and dying. Dude, that shit was so freaking sick. After that, you know, I didn't get a cold beer, but I ate. Everyone else was drinking a beer, getting cal- calories back in in their system. Dude, at that point, you could just eat whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. It doesn't even matter Replenish at that point. Replenish with shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Dude, I was thinking the other day, too. Like, since I've been eating so damn much, mm. I finally fucking hit 200 pounds. I've never hit 200 pounds in my life. Damn. Ever. But I started thinking, I was like, you know what? Fuck, if I was still racing, my suspension would have to be way more stiffer than back then. Because Fuck yeah. when I was racing, I was 175 all like all day. I thought you were at 160, no? Whoa! Uh, when I was on two fifty, yes, but no, on four fifty, I was one seventy five. Damn! Now we look at one seventy five, like, dang, that's light. That's twenty five pounds ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's Freaking. nuts. Yeah, so that was like, damn, dude, the suspen- suspension would have to be way stiffer now. Stiff as fuck. Dude. Yeah, I was like, dude, I I can't even probably even ride a two fifty F if I wanted to. You'd have I, to ride it hard as fuck. Which I do want to ride it. Hardest or a one at twenty five. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to nah. get. I want to get a two stroke. I want to yeah. get two fifty. Oh, a two fifty two stroke. No, maybe I'll just get eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> you would not be able. To, yeah, do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I miss all that. That's good shit. But that's why now I make sure like at least I get get enough like running time in and all that but i want to get a bike so much so bad because it's way funner just riding bikes for cardio and stuff that's way i can't funner. even remember the last time i rode a bike <sighs> shit that means you're old <laughs> <laughs> fuck it <laughs> but you were saying you're at 200 pounds right yeah what's your typical day of eating garbage <laughs> well listen dude i've been fucking up denny's breakfasts like like a breakfast like fucking crazy dude you go to a bre- denny's look check this out you go to denny's you get the grand slugger whatever the fuck it's called yeah that shit comes with orange juice coffee yes. uh and then two pancakes eggs bacon sausage hash browns for how much for like eight bucks it's like a bowl, a Chipotle bowl right there. Exactly. But for breakfast. Yeah. It's not bad at all. I mean, granted, you have to pay a tip if you want to. No, nah, I give you don't a have tip. to. But, but with that even, so like there's that. And then some days I'll fuck up like two Subway sandwiches. Mm. Like for during the day oh, okay. for lunch. Okay. So it's like I have two lunches. Okay. And then because I'll, I'll, I'll probably eat like once at 11 and then again at 3 right because you ate the first Danny's like at seven right okay or or even right. yes that's like that's already at least three thousand calories right there by three o'clock yes okay and then i'll eat chipotle or another thousand calories like literally if you go to chick-fil-a and you have two two chicken sandwiches and that's a fry oh with fries yeah that's 1200 right there exactly so like another thousand all my meals i guess are a thousand naturally just thousands yeah by the thousands. Every, every sit-in is a thousand. Is a thousand. <laughs> every single I put my ass down, fucking thousand. Like, what was pyology? Like, I ate, poly, I, I ate the whole... So, when I go to pyologies or whatever, like, any place like that, I get veggies, right? Like, my, I'll, get, I'll get, like, olives, jalapenos, pepperoncinis. The works. You know, all that shit. And then, when they ask for meats, I tell them, put every fucking meat that you have on there. So, they put, like, 
eight different meats on there sausage pepperoni chicken chicken with buffalo sauce the other meatballs chicken. all this shit the other meatball yeah they put all that stuff on there so that's why i just ate earlier for for dinner like at nine okay so that's that that's different at least one thousand that's at least a thousand calories plus your protein intake oh yeah oh. yeah so then i take oh yeah so when i'm driving in the morning like early as fuck I take in so that 60, right there is, I take in sixty grams of protein in the morning and then sixty at, at night. So you eating wise, that's four thousand calories. Right. Okay. And then every serving every scoop, right? Mm-hmm. Is about a hundred calories? No. Um, each scoop um Yeah. Is like it's 100 it's, calories. it's more than that. I thought. How much is how much how much is every scoop in your thing? I gotta check. Oh, it's thirty grams. Oh, for protein, yeah. Yeah. 30 times 4 is 120. So you got about 130 grams or uh-huh. 130 calories in each scoop. Okay, yeah. And you're doing four scoops a day. Yeah. So that's I, like anywhere between four to 600 calories just in protein. Yeah. So you're consuming 4,000 to like 4,600 calories a day. Yeah. And I'm going to lie, it's only been like a month and a half. Yeah. Or close to two months. Not even two months. It was actually only been like about a month and a half that I've done that. But at the, but at the same time to counteract that shit, I might like I don't have a plan at all with working out. I'll just I'll just like I I know what body group I want to work out right. Yeah. But I go there, and uh, what I've been doing is like some days I I warm up. Some days I don't even warm up. I just start. Right. And I'll I'll like warm up just enough to then start going heavy mm-hmm. and then i'll go heavy and then after like three or like three or four sets of heavy then i'll probably do the same shit but go light and r- r- like basically do burnouts right but dude that shit has helped me out big time doing s- six seven sets of something like that and doing heavy and then after that doing like three sets of burnouts yeah because i don't know it's just it's just because it's different it hits then, the muscle different, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll change that up again and stuff like that. Like, I haven't I haven't superset it in my life other than in fucking high school. And only recently, like, today was, like, the first time I started supersetting. And that shit kills. So, I'm just going to keep changing shit out big time. Dude, but, this big motherfucker inclining six plates on each side. Fucking on YouTube, bitch. His God name's damn. Leroy Walker. Uh-huh. And someone comments they're like hey what's your fucking regimen whatever and right. he actually commented back and he's like he says he has two heavy he benches four times a week uh-huh four and times a week four times a week and he does two heavy sessions one um lightweight session uh-huh and one explosive session uh-huh. and when he does explosive it's also light so technically he has like two heavy two lights yeah i was like that makes fucking sense dude huh? i'm not even gonna lie dude when you do light yeah, and you like like you if you do sessions that are super heavy, and then like you counteract that with like sessions that are super light, but like it, probably, it builds quicker, dude. It fucking makes a difference, yeah. man. Instead of just doing like okay, yeah, you're mm-hmm. switching up your routine, but if you're consistently doing high reps, exactly, you're gonna limit yourself to yeah. And I'm gonna lie, dude. Like it, like if you, like when you first start going to the gym, that shit fucking sucks because it's not fun. The moment yeah. you can start lifting shit, yeah. That as soon you, that, as you see actual change, you're like, then it becomes right. fun. That's yeah. just addicting as heck, right there. Yeah. So then, at the same time, like my pull ups and all that have always sucked shit, like my whole life. So at the same time, I've been working on that a lot. Yeah. Because you don't. I want to be able to handle my own weight, which you know, like you got it. You have to. I want to do at least because if I twenty pull-ups. encounter Officer Woody again, I need to be prepared. <laughs> you, I'm just playing. I will fuck you up, Woody. <laughs> Bitch. But yeah, dude, that it's it's freaking fun. It's addicting. I can see why people sometimes want to go twice, uh, even during the day, like twice oh, yeah. a day and stuff. I, I if anything, that I wish I could do that if I had enough time. Like today, literally. Well, this today was different because I got to work out in the morning, so I didn't get to the office till like nine. Mm-hmm. But I didn't leave the office till eight, mm-hmm. and then come home, eat. Well, I ate, and then come here, and then do this. 
You ate and then you lifted, or did you just lift? No, this morning I just uh, I took uh, just one serving of protein. They had Denny's afterward. No, I I got there. It took uh, no. I had one serving of protein this morning, and then I took off to the gym. And then since I was in a fucking hurry, I started jamming out to the office. And once I got there, I took two servings of protein. <laughs> And then Donnie got there, and we worked. And then I was like, fuck, it's 11.30. I better go. And I went and got food. And Chipotle. <laughs> and that's it. I'm so bummed Remember out that everybody. Chipotle. I'm so bummed out that Chip, Chip, Chip what is it called? Chip the Poy, or what the fuck is it called? Oh, the, it's Ch- done? Chiptopia or yeah. whatever? Yeah, it's coming to an end uh, by like at the end of this month. Fucking I'm fucking bitch. bummed out, They're going to bring it back. I hope they fucking they do, will. dude. I hope they do because I got so much damn free food from that shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Because we were going there so often anyways. Like literally like the first, I'm not kidding you not. I, there's one time that I think the card fucked up because they gave, they gave me three free meals back to back to back. Maybe, uh, maybe it didn't fuck up and she was like. I loaded that shit here, up. Here's your fucking burrito. But I was a dumbass. I didn't, I, I didn't get Big double bitch. meat like how I should have. Remember, when you go to Chipotle, everybody, you fucking ask for everything as many times as you want. And what I mean by that is, would you like rice and beans? Yes, bitch. But I want <laughs> three to four scoops of each of that shit because you don't charge for that. <laughs> yeah. So you get all this shit, right? And then you ask for a double meat and you only eat half the bowl and you it's like you have two bowls, you Boom. know, for only whatever, 10 bucks. You yeah. Know? Save yourself a couple bucks, you know. Pay more to gain more, you know. That mm-hmm. makes sense. Dude, at the end of the day, you know, the way I look at it is, Fuck the system. <laughs> is you get you get the shit that you probably cook at home anyways. Right? Steaks. Yeah. And rice. And Dude, some cooked veggies. I wanna cook a lot of shit once I, mean, I get a grill. I mean, yeah, I wanna cook a lot of shit once I get a chick. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna fucking eat at home all day. Here's what I like to eat. <laughs> I mean, you could make yourself something too. <gasps> no, dude, I just don't have fucking time to cook, man. I only like cooking breakfast and dinner. Like I would, I I like grilling. Yeah, but that's because I'm a dude. Yeah, and with <laughs> I'm grilling, outside. <laughs> yeah. And with grilling comes beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With that, with grilling comes a reason to be outside. <laughs> yeah, that's that's dude shit right there. Fucking takes like what 30 40 minutes to cook a steak. Yeah, that but means for some reason it takes three hours when you're grilling. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, that's just been fun lately doing that. But I was like, damn, dude, I would never like be able to like ride a two fifty F if you're at two hundred something pounds. I mean, you can. I'm, I'm trying like, to think how how much Davy Millsteps weighed. He was at 180s. He was like 180 something, huh? And he was big for a 250F. Yeah, so was Pike. Pike, yeah, that motherfucker. He didn't even fuck with 250s that much. He went. He was just on. He would always blow him up. Yeah. I don't know if that's because he didn't shift though. Well, it's <laughs> carrying his freaking weight and stuff, you know. He's just got to shift up. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a little bit more gas. <laughs> Just take it out of third gear. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, man. But yeah, what else is new with your school and stuff? Nothing, dude. Just, uh, dude, going to ASU during the mornings to eat is fucking fun. Dude, sightseeing, huh? Oh my Just god, people watching. Dude, you can go on campus. I, like, this is the one thing. This is the reason. This is probably, like, if I ever did go to college, it'd probably just be for sightseeing, which, therefore, I would never pay Dude, for the college. I would could, just go there and do it. Yeah, you kill hours yeah. just doing nothing. F- big time, man. You could you could just hang but out. It's so easy to I hang out on campus. I feel productive doing it. Well, like, you, I'm learning. But you ain't doing shit. No, but I'm learning life. Everyone probably feels like they're fucking learning something, and they ain't doing shit. Yeah. It's just there. At the end of the day, it's about feeling. I kid you, I kid <laughs> you not. Like, There's like... All these kids look like they're studying, right? Mm. And then I looked at one chick's computer and she's on fucking Facebook. Oh, yeah. Bitch, you ain't fuck. What is this? Spending your mom and daddy money to fucking Shoot, man. update your status on who you fucked last night. Ha, <laughs> 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 <Huh>, bitch. <laughs> but, dude, yeah, it's like, dude, and then these, there's some chick, like, holy shit, man. 
I like if I was going to school there, not, I would lose my freaking mind. There's some chicks showing like tons dude, they got of like booty half ass cheek hanging. Up. I mean, not that I'm immune to it. I'm just saying I see it so frequently that you're used. It's to just it like, now. oh yeah, that's just a bitch. You <laughs> haven't seen a bitch before. That's just her. You know, that's whatever. Oh my frat God. boys, dude. Frat boys is fucking amazing. Who? Frat boys. Oh, frat boys. Yeah. I thought you said fat boys. No, no, frat. Frat boys. Frat theta kappa fucks. You know. Oh. Dude, they'll have like their fucking booths and everything set up, like promoting their shit. What the and fuck? And all of them just sit around like, like fucking, like, I don't even know, like boy bands, you know? Well, what, 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 what are they pushing? I don't understand. I have no idea. I have literally all of them. I have no idea. Dude, when they when those when all the sororities have those meetings, you could tell because they're like you'll see a one girl that's walking like totally freaking fine, but dressed like like this bitch is going to like to the fucking Grammys or something. something you know? Yeah, like freaking nice little dress. And they but all short. wear the same. It's like themes, you know. We're 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 doing red dress and fucking pink shoes. <laughs> you wear it or we're fucking done. All right? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do that. Okay, you're like, you wear it or you're out of the fucking club. Yeah. Damn. Who who got busted for the like what, what school for like the worst hazings or some shit? I don't was know that, for was the that worst, ASU. I, I don't know for the worst hazing, but they're coming out with this documentary about a fraternity from ASU, like the behind the scenes shit, you know. Mm-hmm. And I just fucking laugh at how fucking retarded it is, you know. And they're being dead serious. He's like the dude's like the head whatever frat, you yeah, know, the head cock, yeah. and he's like <laughs> cock. He's like telling talking to the recruit, the little fucking freshman or whoever the fuck they are. He's like. People envy us. Like, your life is about to change, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get so much pussy. Your life is about to change. Through being with this club. Like, the way he was saying it is like, he's just going to fucking, like, every problem you had is just gone as soon as you just join this fucking club. How much does, does it cost to join a frat? I don't know. We had a friend, though. She was in a sorority, and I believe she said 30000 I don't know if that was for the school year. Join, I'm gonna look that shit up right now. I'm, 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 I'm. Curious. And I think, I think it costs all that money because you have to live. Don't you have to live with them? No, well, not all of them. I don't think. Well, I mean, you have to buy all the fancy dresses. You have to attend all the shit. All those sit down restaurant dinners add the fuck up. According, uh, uh, uh what's that sound? Here, adjust that thing. You hear that sound? Or that sauce? Oh, no. What is that? Okay. According to the most recent data, this is from USA Today, the average new sorority member will pay $1,280 per semester, and the average fraternity member will pay $605 per semester not including room and board at the chapter house. That's where the money is. At the chapter house? R- room and board. Uh, that makes sense. Fuck, man. And that's $1,200. That's bullshit. That's $1,200 to get in. That's not including all like the dresses, all the little shit that adds up. Yeah. That's just like to just fucking get a bag that says fucking Sigma fucks. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I'm really ignorant to all that because I see a lot of chicks like on on Instagram like post like photos of that stuff. Yeah. Like, like like, but it's always in twos. Like usually it'll never just be the chick and uh, by herself. It's always her with her friend and like. What's it called? Her mini? Not her. Yeah, her. Uh, they have a name for it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's like her sister. Not her sister, but a type of sister. Yeah. Huh. Because yeah, it's just interesting. I just would not be able to fucking do that. I'm sorry. That's not me. It's fucking retarded. Dude, I'll be walking around the gym. And they're all like, hey, bro. You going tonight, man? You oh, there's know? guys that walk, walk up to you and say no, that? No, no, no. Not me. I hear them amongst uh, themselves. Oh, like, okay. Hey, bro. You, you going tonight? I don't know, man. Shit. And then I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. Going where? To, like, to parties or whatever. Like little fucking orgies that they have. But the way they say it, I'm do saying. Do the orgy at uh, these orgies? Do they have to wear masks? I don't like, know. is it like an elite orgies? I'm sure they have their themes. <laughs> you know, <sighs> dress your cock in red for this one. <laughs> I would like. I would. I would like to crash one. 
I'm gonna dress my cock in purple. You'd be bitch. fucking funny as if a dude Stand like out. if what would be funny if it's like a dude like not the rock, but a dude that looked like the rock, mm-hmm. like just big like that, if he crashed a party. And I would wonder if anyone would say anything. I hands down they would not say anything. They would allow him. They probably even allow him to bang their chicks, right? Yeah. They're gonna like, okay, yeah, yeah, bro. You want a drink? You want, you want beer? Yeah. You want, <laughs> you want to do keg stand? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I could pick you up. But <laughs> Stacy, suck his dick while he drinks this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just be sure not to piss him off. <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, but it's interesting, man. Yeah, dude. Like, college life is different. It's it's, it's interesting. It's you can people own, watch all day, it's man. It's their own little world. It's fucking weird. It really is its own world, man. Yeah. The little convenience stores and fuck. I uh, for me, I just see all the money that's being made. I'm like, holy shit, money here Cha-ching. and money there and money Cha-ching. there. Like fuck, Cha-ching. money everywhere there. Look at Starbucks. Cha-ching. We need to do an episode right there at the courtyard. Yeah. Yeah. We should do an episode right there at the courtyard. That'd be fun. Yeah, we should have like a live survey of something like, how many. Dudes have done this. How many chicks have done this? It should be all sexual. But be recording them. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go and find out who they are and tag them. On <laughs> we need to send what we need to go do interviews out there, too. Yeah. Like how we did. The and dirtiest uh, show like how we out. did. in um, And uh, one of those first Fridays in downtown Phoenix. Yeah. People loved, even though like there was no prize or anything. All we were doing was play the game of tell your uh, your craziest sex story story in 30 seconds <laughs> and they're like okay like they're all oh, out so, of breath so one time I, da, 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 and they just plow through the fucking story which would make the story even fucking even better <laughs> it was like we heard chicks gain taken to the hospital because of malfunction or use of toys Fuck. uh you know like one one chick was like uh yeah like you can go harder and then he, he accidentally put it in her butt and she wanted to throw up I don't, dude. I honestly got don't know how you accidentally <sighs> slip it in the butt. That makes no sense to it's me. It's right there, and if she's already loose, you never, you know. You must like have like stretchy asshole or something. Some could, yeah. You don't know if she just, you know, yeah. Some could. I never got that. I was like, how do you just? It just slid in. No, 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 bitch. <laughs> you were trying. Yeah, it didn't hurt. <laughs> you were like, yeah, yeah, I'm down for this. <laughs> Fuck that hurt. Yeah, man. I just always, I don't know, man. Every, uh, it's just, my mind's fucked up. Because every time I drive by, like, a university and you just, I just, we just, like, stare at the dorms. All quiet. I just imagine, like, if all the wall, like, imagine, like, if it was, like, a dollhouse. Like, you take all the whole wall and you see all the rooms. Yeah. Right? I just imagine if it was, like, that and then just all the fucking. sex scenes that's going on all si- simultaneously. No, it's, like, fucking at the top left corner and in the middle, <laughs> the guy's all fucking overdosing and shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's, there's another like guy's, like, one person sniffing cocaine. studying while his roommate's fucking, you know. Right there in the same room and There's shit. There's a teacher fucking someone. <laughs> Fuck. You think that happens? Professor Men in there. You, you think that happens? Like, you know how like, sometimes in the movies you see that shit where it's like a dude's like trying to study it and, the, and then right there in the room oh, yeah. there's a couple banging? Oh, hell yeah. You think that happens? Yeah, for sure. What the fuck, man? I mean, I could do that. I'll be so... What the not, fuck? Not, not bang there, but if someone's banging next to me, I could still study. Oh my God. I would, dude. I would not be able to do shit. I need to get the fuck out of there. Really? Yeah. Not me. You would fucking stay in there? If they told me not to leave? That, if I they don't didn't think say they're going <laughs> to fucking tell you. I don't think they're going to be like, hey, uh, sister, I want to bang the chick, but don't leave. Just no, stay no, here. No, no, no. If they're like, hey, if they don't say you got to get out of here. If they gave me the option to stay or leave. You're staying. I'm just gonna fucking stay there. Why the fuck would you? Because that's my me? room. <laughs> <laughs> like this, because it's fucking goddamn principle. That's why. <laughs> you wanna bring this pussy, huh? This pussy can't control me, huh? Holy no. shit! I would have to probably on ASU yeah. uh, confessions. What is that? What it's called? Yeah. Or like, is it called the dirty? Because there's that. Oh, no, there's side. a dirty also, but there's one that's called ASU confessions. Yeah, and you just upload your confession. What the fuck? Yeah, and. 
and beaches they uh, girls and guys it's voluntarily want <laughs> they voluntarily want to confess their shit online yeah anonymous anonymously anonymous it's like that whisper app you know so what the fuck's the point of putting it out there anyways because it's asu <laughs> says with the asu confessions oh my god okay so continue what? so i don't know there's some dirty shit on there like eating shit like a teacher fucking her no uh yeah a teacher fucking a student well yeah. i guess they can all be close in the age, same age right like if it was a graduate student that's teaching i mean yeah but <laughs> i'm just saying like let's say you're failing a class yeah you paid all this money to go there or you could just fuck your teacher and get an A. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you think they're handing out A's for pussy? I know they're handing out A's for pussy. You really? Yeah. Damn. I think so. Have you had any teachers that you think that would have done that? Fucked me? No. Oh. <laughs> fuck someone for an A. Uh, No, all my teachers are fucking engineer things. I'm talking about like freshman level classes like english 101 like those teacher. big ass fucking hall ones you know oh the uh, big auditorium ones yeah like those because those ones. are the, the prerequisites ones those are the easiest ones huh yeah so they stuff a fuck little kids in there yeah because they're like oh english 101 everybody and their fucking mom has to take this class there's like fucking 500 people in this what place. but it doesn't look like 500 seats it just it looks way smaller but they put that. 500 fucking motherfuckers in this thing yeah i counted it i multiplied it and did everything what the fuck yeah i did math holy <sighs> shit i was like fuck this isn't lying how the fuck are they gonna grade all that shit oh, so and it's not like they're stuffing in like is, fucking it, tuna is there everything online then as far as like homework and shit like don't i took an online class of 800 that was online how the fuck is the teacher gonna grade all that shit they, they don't they don't they don't they just look for if you completed a fucking essay and that's it yeah they go like this so they done, don't done done so done. they don't read like if you write an essay do they read the fucking essay i mean that i i, I would, don't think in detail but i'm just saying oh i, I would I, hate to be a teacher that had to do that shit dude that would suck man or like or like my my 800 class one online yeah he would upload this, this the class is so fucking big you can't even assign real work to the class fuck so man. we would, he would just the whole class was do do like x assignment and then there's a quiz afterward and it's a five question quiz and there's like 10 quizzes right so you just and it's all software based you know so you just click it you submit it and pfft, spits what the fuck you got right around dude right there. that's killer so i would i think i could knock that shit out fast then. i did i did damn yeah. that that's, was the that was the beatles i studied the beatles what do you mean you start you like a beetle like the fucking insect the beetle no like the band the beetles it was for upper division humanities class the oh that they taught that in humanities yeah. what the fuck is humanities about i can't even remember what um, they, what the sub what, what humanities is i took that shit in high school i'm pretty sure you're saying the fucking meaning in the word about humans yeah like the interaction like what's going on with humans <laughs> the beetles like they why don't they, you just fucking watch vice then yeah i mean <laughs> just fucking open your goddamn eyes you know? <laughs> yeah why don't you go down your <laughs> you fucking look, bitch? Yeah. Holy shit. But I, I have to say that like it's pretty cool. Cause right so right now the schedule is I drive Sessa to school. Well what I we I leave the house like at five thirty, pick your ass up at six. Yeah. But we've been if anything trying to get you going at five forty five, miss all the traffic. Yeah. Get to Tempe by like six thirty, six forty five. Yeah. Well, we were. If I could get you a pass to lift, then you could just lift in the morning with me. Yeah, it'd be fucking tight. And then hit up Quidobo. It's like another version of Chipotle. Dude, could, dude, dude. She she's starting to give me free burritos, dude. No. She gave me free breakfast burrito. I'm fucking in for free. For fucking free. Fuck. I just took that fucking survey. I said this bitch is killer. She does a job all well. <laughs> she she looked at it and she's like, oh my god, thank you. You didn't lie. I said, I told you, bitch. She said, here's your burrito. I said, thank you. Damn, I want to fucking fill out so many of those. I got to fill out a bunch of those surveys then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, Qdoba is freaking tight, man. They get, they give out free guac. Now, Look, I can't like they, say it's as good as Chipotle's guac, but... To me, it tastes the same. No, it's not the same. So, when I first started eating that shit, I was like, dude, Chipotle's better. Chipotle's better. Now, I think Qdoba's better than Chipotle. I think, yeah. I mean, I don't know, dude. I like Chipotle's, though. 
because they put a lot of salt in their shit. Yeah. And I know I should feel guilty and bad, right, because of all the salt, but... If you sweat it out, it's fine. I don't give a fuck. Dude, fucking Asians love Burger King. They fucking love Burger King, dude. There's a whole shit ton of Asians. All the white people are ordering sushi, and all the fucking Asians are down downstairs ordering Burger King. Are you serious? The fucking line wraps, dude. What? There's like one white, like fucking six Asians, a Mexican. What? Another six to seven Asians, a black guy. You know what? That makes sense, though, because we want shit that are from other places. Yeah. Just like... Like, white people will be all over sushi. Yeah. I'll be all over sushi. Like, right? Where, where? You know what? I don't even know where the fuck sushi's from. Is it China, Korea? I don't even fucking know. But where are these goddamn countries that where they make sushi? These assholes are probably so tired of this shit, right? No, th- never mind. They don't get tired of fucking white rice, I don't think. I don't know. Is that fucked up? What? When we were talking about sushi and Asian food, all I thought was white rice right now. No, because oh, okay. that's fucking all they eat for the most part. I thought it was and being... fish. That's how they're all leaned out and shit. That's how Bruce Lee became fucking Bruce Lee. He's all lean and shit. He's tiny but lean, strong. That's a clean motherfucker right there. Yeah. But that's why but you know what? It's kind of funny because like a lot of Asians, like what all these Asians in line, I get guarantee they're all thin, right? They are all thin. So they're they, skinny as fuck. So dude. they eat the fucking the Burger King. It doesn't even matter. They can handle Burger King all day. That they're cool with that. They're cool. Us Americans, we eat too much Burger King, dude. We 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 develop diabetes. And we, we do the fucking opposite. Start stabbing ourselves with insulin, yeah. trying to fucking not die. Oh all my this god, shit. I gotta get my ass to the gym. But oh my before god. Before that, I'm gonna fucking throw a picture on saying, <laughs> I'm, "Look at me." Holy shit, dude! I, this is kind of fucked up, but fuck it. Like I told Estelle on the other day, and I think I told you too, man. Is like, because you could tell, like, um, like, like what people on, like, uh, see, I'm all about social media. I love social media, like, yeah, I fucking love it. But I can see like some personality types that, um, like, all their self esteem is completely based around their online image. And it has nothing to do with like real life shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, I would get really worried about that. Because I'm like, dude, that's like the recipe for fucking suicide or recipe for like depression and all this shit like that. Because you're not de- developing any depth with like humans, fake. humans in real life. You there's know no I mean? like physical interaction with them. Yeah. Like, like there's no real, real depth like in that sense. Like, yeah. th- like. I mean, there's, you'll see a lot of, like, you will see, like, we've always joked around about the, the, the chick, like the hot ass chick, right? That puts a photo with fucking ass, like straight up. It's just an ass. New socks. Like it could be, no, it could be like a thong of, or what are fucking Calvin Klein? What, no, no, she'll know. be butt naked on the fucking counter, but she'll and then, caption say new socks. And then, or, or the caption will be something all deep. Never or, let someone put you down, blah, 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 blah. Right? Yeah. Cause there's. Which that whole thing fucking makes me laugh because it's hilarious because it doesn't make any damn sense, right? But I almost feel bad when I see that because now, because I'm like, damn, dude, like this chick is freaking damaged. Like, because if she doesn't have, if she doesn't get enough likes on here, she's going to get depressed and then she's going to delete the photo. Like, I'm not even joking. You see this shit happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see someone like, this is fucking marketing shit. People do this shit for like their own brand, even though they don't have, like, they're not pushing a brand. They treat For their them, they yeah. treat themselves like a brand, without unknowingly and unknowingly, and so they like put out like content like a like a photo, and if it doesn't get enough likes, they're like oh, fuck it, and they fucking delete that fuck, shit. Fuck, this is embarrassing. Kid you not? Don't you like? How many times do you see up against that wall in ASU all the sorority chicks having to pose for those photos that yeah. take for fucking ever? Yeah. They do they like they do the whole thing like okay you're gonna look at me and you're gonna smile and I'm gonna look at this way like I'm doing this yeah like you caught me in the moment <laughs> like you just <laughs> caught me in the moment and yeah then that bitch throws a hashtag caught in the moment <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like all scripted and played out and I was yeah. just like dude that photo took like 15 fucking goddamn minutes like well, yeah they took like 50 fucking photos and they snagged <laughs> one and then they fucking put like 15 filters on that fucking one dude that's fucking marketing right yeah. there that's what you do like for like client shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like to put all that energy like, okay, but at the end of the day, like brands will do that to sell shit. Chicks will do that to to get likes. Yeah. And then it's just like, dude, at the end of the day, those likes don't mean dick. Because if you like, if you were to strip social media from their life, what do you have? 
I'm not going to say it. Right? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand where I'm going? Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like they don't have anything. They're just broken at that point. Damn. I, I feel bad when he I say that. She ain't got shit. <laughs> No, I just he said I, you ain't nothing, bitch. I just feel bad, dude. Like, fuck, he man. Said you a damaged bitch. <laughs> like, I feel bad for that shit, dude. Like, fuck, man. Like, if you can't, dude, don't, don't. You're gonna be scrolling. <laughs> he's gonna be a fucking deep ass comment. And I'm gonna see a comment from you, and it just says damaged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying, just because I'm saying, like, I see that shit like constantly. I, I can't. I always feel bad when I see that. I'm just like. Fuck, dude! Like you're saying it like no, and I agree with you. It just sounds funny because you're like <laughs> almost saying like a fucking cry for help. Like it is what? a cry for no, help. No, no, like when the fucking ship is sinking and they throw flares in the air. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Someone like me. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, I see that. It's freaking sad, man. I was just like, fuck. Like this is where we're, this is where the shit's at now. Like you're like we gotta you're like your shit's. Your self esteem's based off fucking likes instead of like depth, you know what I mean? Or a value to anything. Like fuck. Like it's what's that one saying is I'd rather have four quarters than a uh, than hundred pennies. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's like when you have four true friendships, you don't need a fuckload of acquaintances to feel wanted or some shit, you know? Yeah. You don't need all those fucking like social media likes or yeah. whatever the fuck. That's true. But damn, dude, keep that circle small. Too. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm serious. Like, yeah, we like, I feel grateful as heck with our like with like our friends and stuff like that because everyone's been like, we're all tight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we know that when the shit freaking goes down, even if we haven't talked to one mofo for like five six months, dude, I haven't talked to him five six there. months, but I'm in jail. Dude, and then they'll be like, "Dude, oh, I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> I already got your fucking bail money, bro. I got my dick tingle, and I fucking knew you were in jail, and I came over here and, <laughs> dude, that's how it is, dude. Yeah, exactly. So, got my dick tingle. <laughs> I don't know that. Like me, I'm 28. I'm fucking young, right? But when I go to this, but, but I'm semi young. I'm still fucking young. God damn it. But when I go to the like AS, like when we go to ASU, literally, that's all I think about when I see all this shit like that. What? Like when I see like like some like like chicks like wearing like showing all this ass and stuff yeah. like that, like I like it because I look at it, it's eye candy for me, but it's not like oh my god, you know, you know what, what that reminds me of? Like like in the sixth sense when the guy would see someone, but then the kid would see the dead people of like, <laughs> <laughs> like their true fucking identity. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it feels like like I, she has her skimpy outfit and she's walking all happy and then you fucking shed your eyes over her, this bitch is just crying crawling her way yeah dude that's what I see dude I'm just like fuck. god damn like, what a fucking scene I was just like dude like I mean I, I it's not like I'm judging him like that but I'm just saying that like if you if you were to see that shit on so on Instagram these like, are the vibes you're giving me like this <laughs> is what like literally. Off Instagram, you can tell a lot of shit because it's all in photos. You know what I mean? Okay, and, we love women. Okay, and and, <laughs> and like when you go through Instagram and you go through something like a chick's profile, yeah, you can kind of sum up certain patterns of what psychologically is happening. Oh yeah, you're you like, I mean? dude, like, she's fighting with her dude right now. <laughs> yeah, like dude, you, she's uh, having a fucking ep uh, epitome, epiphany <laughs> in her fucking life because she's doing this now. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, I, I kid you not. There's, there's chicks that. Um, is that a word? Epiphany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. There's I chicks think. that are on that, like you meet in person, but yeah. their online persona seems completely different. Right. That happens all day. All the time. But for me, it's really interesting to look on social media instead of in person sometimes. It's almost like a because, character. Well, because you end up seeing psychologically what's going on on social media compared to what's happening in real life. Because they, they, they're like, yeah, it's all. You, this you know is what, what fucking amazes me. This is like, this, this, this is a hardcore scientific this shit. This is right what here. amazes me. Like, they don't give out too much information because it's private, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, they think it's fucking like, it's not them. But if they put it on social media, you know, it's like oh, someone's speaking for me, but not it's not about me. <laughs> yeah, it's a comfort. Thing. Yeah, I'm I, like, and I get that because I, I I think like we've all, uh, you know, we all have like a certain filter with but, that shit, right? But that goes back to being shy. 
I it goes think. back to yeah. I think that's true. Shy, shyness could factor definitely factor in. I know it has with me for sure. So I've heard of the term social anxiety. Yeah. I don't believe in that shit. Social anxiety, like you get anxiety when you're around social situations. They they considered like, oh, I don't I don't want to talk to them. No, like I don't want to fuck with them. You know, like they consider that social anxiety. Oh, that's not social anxiety. I'm like that's social, just being, that's just being a pussy. Yeah, I I, I was it, like that all all through high school. I was like yeah. that. I consider social anxiety like you come in the, a mass like a concert and you're like I need to get the fuck out of here like I can't breathe. Oh know? yeah yeah. I think that's social anxiety. But I was reading up on social anxiety because I don't know some link on Facebook. Uh huh. I was like, dude, these are all pussy syndromes, you know? That like that's like th- then that that would probably describe like my whole high school fucking <laughs> experience, really. I mean that's how I am. Like if when we go out, like uh-huh. and let's say like if it, if I were to be single, right? That's how I am. Really? Yeah. yeah, that's true. You you don't talk too much. Yeah, yeah I just fucking see. I'm a, I'm the opposite. You give me a fucking couple of drinks, if I'm in the right mood too, though. Like savage mood. Yeah. When it's well, super, when it, when, well. <laughs> when supercross is around, when supercross is around, that's probably like the the time. That's the one day that I probably talk to like the most people. That you, I'm, that honestly sounded like it's mating season. Because I'm like, because <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because like that's when I'm the most comfortable. I'm like super fucking happy, right? And so that's like mating you know, season. I'll fucking I'll, during supercross season. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's when I'm feeling like that. Like like I can approach like anyone. <laughs> like I just have to like like I feel like I can just approach anyone, and I do. And that just feels it feels natural to me. But fuck, then there's some times that I was just like, dude, I don't want to talk to him. Like, like this morning, even though it wasn't even a big deal, I'm walking to the office and uh, one of the, actually the chicks that is, has an office next to us, I haven't met her, but I, I was passing by and I was and I was like seeing this. She was talking to some other chick, and uh, so I'm passing by, right? I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna say anything, right? Because these two chicks are talking, so I'm not gonna like greet them or anything like that. So I'm walking by. Right when I freaking start to pass by, the chick turns around and is like, hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm like, good morning. <laughs> and I just keep walking because I wasn't expecting it. To me, I was like, that's, to me, that's like, like social anxiety shit sometimes because I'm like, I already had a fucking plan. I look, I see them talking. I'm fucking walking straight. I'm not going to say shit. No, that's not social anxiety. No? Just- oh, okay. That's not, just being a cop. Not now. Up. I'm in the fucking zone. Yeah, know? I was just in the fucking zone. I'm heading to the, to the office to get shit done. You know what's funny, though? So I, but you I, know felt, funny? I felt bad because I was like, no, oh, no, that no. sounded rude. This is funny, though. This is a funny situation because while you're sitting there doing your work, thinking about this bitch. No, I'm not I'm not doing that. All right, whatever. Cross your mind. You're like, dude, that kind of came off dickish or whatever. Right, you know? right. And this bitch is mine while she's doing her work. She's going like this. I don't, what what did I do? I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. <laughs> I'm gonna get him, dude. Chicks will do that. Yeah, I know that because I I have some friends that and have told me that shit. The fucking chess game begins. Yeah, it's a chess game. I do, I, that's yeah. That's how it can happen. Yeah, dude. Oh my fucking god! This anger management class. Like we'll end on this. So this anger management class, I hope it never fucking ends. And the reason why is because our teacher is a straight savage. She is bad ass. And like, I didn't even know, but the class, she was like, she didn't even, she was like, hold on, this anger, anger match class? I thought this was DV. <laughs> no, uh And then we're, we're all like, what the fuck? No, we're all in here for anger management. I thought this was domestic violence class. <laughs> and that was, I told her, I was like, oh, that's why we're talking about nothing but sexual shit and women's emotions then, huh? <laughs> because literally that's all we talk about on there, dude. I freaking had to learn everything about women's emotions in that fucking what class. What the fuck? Dude, like... Why the, wait, if she thought if it was a domestic violence case, why mm-hmm. is it talking about women's feelings? About how to handle their crazy emotions because she says they're <laughs> fucking crazy. She goes, she says this. I'm telling you right now, women are fucking crazy. She said. Yes. No, I believe she, that. She goes, she goes, and she talks, talks tell, and then she goes straight into the fucking period cycle, whole fucking dissects the whole thing. She says that she had it so bad. When that. she would, when she would go into uh when she would uh have her period yeah that she would have to sometimes she would have to take medication painkillers like hardcore ass ones like prescribed and all this she so had bad. one of those fucked up periods huh? she had one of those fucked up periods 
But she was like, I swear, it made me into like the fucking devil and all this stuff. Like it was bad, bad. So just imagine even like some of these chicks that have like normal ones. Yeah. They just start fucking thinking all weird or forget to do shit or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's all, horm- all hormones and stuff like that. And I was just like, yeah, I know. I, I get all that. But fuck. I, I think th- now being 28, like when I was younger, I would fight that shit w- way more. I'd be like, no. She can learn. <laughs> she has a brain, right? And now getting older, you're just like there's certain things like you just have to accept of of how a woman is wired, and comp- and and and, I, and then right right how a woman is wired. That's how they're <laughs> fucking made, dude. And then and vice versa, they're made, and, <laughs> and vice versa, dude. Like like those chicks end up having to freaking understand like how a dude is wired and made. No, and just accept that. No, shit. they don't. But well, they don't want to. I mean, but the smart ones will accept that shit. But smart ones adapt to each other. That's what I'm saying. So I just thought, it was, but that class has been so freaking awesome. Damn. It's been freaking funny, man. Not my class. My class has been fucking depressing as shit. Why do you have a drinking problem, Cesar? You <laughs> when I when I gave that bitch my assessment test, you know, she's looking at it, and I have zeros for like yeah. not feeling in five. If you're feeling a certain way, yeah, I put a fucking one for it. it said stressed, depressed, or sad, all in one line. I put a one <laughs> for stress, not yeah. because depressed or sad. And she goes, whoa, whoa. I I see that you marked here a one. Can can you talk to me about that? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, for sure, bitch. I'm in Tent City right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little fucking stressed. Yeah, she goes, she goes. Oh, oh, well, yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. <laughs> like, goes, they're like picking at it, yeah. trying to find something that you're fucked up with. Huh? So, cause yeah, if you if you're honest with them about anything, they're like, dude, he needs a fucking counselor. He God needs damn. this. He needs that. Dude, my teacher's way tired. She's like, she's all. She even says, she she says all my drinking class, like DUI classes, all my anger management or DV classes. Yeah, I just talk. We just talk about life shit. Because alcohol is not the problem. There's or, a root. Or, you know, not n- even, yeah. n- none of that shit or, or the fighting is not the problem. Yeah. There's a foundation to all that shit and it's manifested through those actions. Exactly. Dude, this chick, I swear, I was like, you know what? I was like, dude, I, I wish I wish you'd fucking come on the goddamn podcast, to be honest. Hey, she, yeah, I should Jesus. probably ask her. And then, you know what? There's this other guy in there. I can't say his name, but um, he's a fucking savage, man. Yeah? Yeah. He's like, he's like probably like 45, close to 50. Yeah. And it has a rock and roll lifestyle life. And but he looks normal? Super sexual dude. He looks super normal? No. Or he looks like a rock dude? He, no, he just looks like just a regular dude. But he's, dude, the sexual experiences that he, he's had are fucking crazy. And you we should, talk about all that shit right there. That's why we make fun you, of, you we don't make rec- fun of him, but we fucking laugh. And no, I can't record that uh. shit on there. Why? Because it's all confidential. You can't. You can't do that. Who's shit. gonna know if you're recording? I know. It's like the same thing as like if you go to court. I've thought about recording all my court appearances as well, but I didn't. But I did record the Uber drive uh, from last Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was fun. That was the first time I took Uber. I'm never doing that shit again. Oh my god. Okay, let's end on this with your Uber experience that no one else experiences except for you. This is my first time doing Uber. Bobby sends me his what is it promo thing right. to get a free ride. I'm signing up for this shit and. All of a sudden, shit just goes fucking left, and it's, it's it's telling me my fucking Uber driver is half deaf and half fucking blind. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's not and, fucked. It's it's like it's sad that that they're like that, but it just sucks that they they put a fucking driver that has that. Yeah, and not only that, I was like, fuck this, dude. I ain't, I ain't gonna take this shit, you know. Right. I looked at my bank account to see if they charged me or not because I wasn't sure if I did it right. right. Sure enough, they fucking charged me. I said right there, okay. twenty fucking dollars. I said, "Fuck it, I'm going." You know, mm-hmm. I get in this fucking this, you know, this fucking death thing. Mm-hmm. We're sitting like a death ride. <laughs> yeah, this fucking death mobile, and I'm just sitting there waiting to to come out of on the 83rd. There's fucking headlights everywhere. It's night and it's just flooded with traffic. And this motherfucker's taunting like, "Should I go?" Like I could I could see his brain thinking. He goes. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> and the fucking cars like this. Anyway, we fucking make it out to the freeway, and he's going, and we're like bullshit talking, whatever. The whole fucking ride over, he's driving quiet, and he's like, and he's just hitting the fucking line. He just comes back over like nothing, and then again, and it's not like he hits it. 
I was like, dude, I'm not doing this shit again. Oh my gosh, that I I've never had an experience like that ever. Fucking, I've had nothing half but half blind, half no, deaf. I've had nothing but normal like drivers or drivers that are just fucking really funny and they'll talk about anything. He was a cool ass dude. Yeah, he just could barely hear he's just shit a little, or barely see shit. So I so I I take it it probably wasn't too bad then for him not to have a driver's license because obviously he has a driver's license. Dude, I don't know. I wonder if he just I said it, that shit on purpose to fuck with I people. Just, <laughs> I just think it was like, yeah, that's still kind of sketchy. But but yeah, I mean, if he has a driver's license, then I mean, he must have passed all that. His his his, 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 his <laughs> uh, you know, eyesight's probably decent and stuff. I don't know. Really. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Well, I trust me. The other Uber rides are not. They're not like that. I'll give it another shot. Yeah, Uber is way better than uh, Lyft. L- well, no, I don't know. I've never tried Lyft. I I still have a free ride from them, so I gotta mm. try that. But um, it's cheaper than um, DUIs. So yeah. So yeah, we'll end on that note. Be safe. Yes. What is it? <laughs> Friday night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night and. It is. Damn, dude, it's midnight now. Right now, that's the wild hour. Yeah. Yeah, there's some crazy shit going down at Tempe and Scottsdale. and. But I got to go to bed. I got to finish my community service tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. It was, It is freaking fun being back after a two-month break. Uh, had to just take care of all the boo yeah. and work and little school. detour. Yep. So we're going to be cranking these out for sure. And uh, so stay tuned. As always, you can catch us on iTunes, Stitcher, and YouTube. And uh, I don't know. Do you have any last words Sosa, after a two-month break? No, no. I can't think of nothing right now. No, you're good? <laughs> I'm content right now. All right. All right. Thank you guys again. And we'll be back with episode 56 shortly. Thanks, guys. Later.